just here, Ali, one more time. Oh, do you not want to cuddle? He doesn't want to cuddle. He doesn't want to cuddle. At four, it's another first time entry for a man who has pestered me. And when I say pestered, I mean really, really pestered me and pestered me and pestered me on Twitter to feature in the top five. And as you know, a tweet is pretty much all it takes for a Radio 1 DJ to appear in the top five. And yes, I did say to him, yeah, you'll feature. You will feature. I, I meant someday, but he didn't understand that and he complained. And when I say complained, he really complained and he complained and he complained. And he said, why am I not in your top five? So we met each other and... Finally, um, he appears in the top five, but because he complained, he only features at number four. It is Northern Ireland's introducing man, it's Rory McConnell. You know the ducks, the pedal ducks? Yes, I do, Rory. It's a night of first timers, as this lady finds herself in for the first time at three. It's the lady who tweeted my picture of me doing an, an LOL face, which is essentially where you put your hands up, open your mouth, and do the letters of LOL. She took a picture and she tweeted it, and that's why she's at number three. Is of course Jen Long. She's a babe. <laughs> she's a babe. Jen, what is she? She's a babe. All right, cheers. Well, yeah, thanks, Brad. Man, Pippa will enjoy that comment. Now, at two, it's the mighty Tim Westwood. He is a non-mover this week, but he just didn't have enough in the tank to make it to number one due to calling me on his show short so it means Tim is at number two Mr Westwood Tom Beacon would you get a big deacon so it means this week we have a brand new number one now I would like to take this opportunity to say it could have so easily been someone else at the top spot this week because I bumped into Mr Zane Lowe on Wednesday and we had a real good chat outside Radio 1 just as it began to rain and it was kind of romantic like and he said to me he's going to get me soon into the show to do verses with him. I thought that's great news, that's gonna be amazing. And we were also working together potentially on Saturday and I thought that was gonna be amazing. But alas, when he asked me about my stand-up comedy, um, he let out a little secret <coughs> which shocked me that he has never been to a live stand-up gig, mine or anybody else's. So I'm sorry, Zane, um, I know it's a little bit petty of me, but until you go to one of my shows or to a stand-up gig, I cannot put you at the top spot. However, a DJ who was at the gig yesterday working with me tweeted me and had a long chat with me about holidays and comedy, meaning at one, it's Mr. Dan P. Carter. Welsh Rockers. Welsh Rockers. Welsh Rockers. So there you go. Mr. Dan P. Carter is at number one.